Okay, so here we're going to be looking at uh, an example of a mixture problem. Uh, mixture problems uh, are really based off of relationships, like this one right here. In this problem, uh, the underlying relationship is that the total cost is your cost per pound times your number of pounds. And in this problem, we have a fixed quantity, and that's the cost per pound. Um, kind of fluctuate as you change the number of pounds that will affect your cost. As you affect the cost that will change your number of pounds. But the cost per pound that's stated in this problem is a fixed quantity. Uh, and that's kind of important as we set these up. So as we read this problem we say that we need to mix coffee that sells for three dollars per pound with a more expensive brand that sells for ten dollars per pound to make fifty pounds of a blend that can be sold for eight dollars per pound. We want to know how many pounds of each uh, variety of coffee we should use to do this. Uh, the story behind this might be you have some expensive coffee that's not selling well and you want to get the price down a little bit so you decide to mix some uh, cheaper stuff with it uh, that you can then hopefully sell for cheaper. Uh, perhaps you do this uh, because then you can still say all the nice things about the expensive one for this slightly cheaper variety and again hoping that people will will buy it. Now you don't want to just go mixing stuff willy-nilly because you don't want to lose money. Okay, So in a standard mixture problem, which this is one, we have a diagram of really two containers of stuff being dumped into a third container. And again, very important uh, those fixed quantities, the things that don't change in the problem, and that is the cost per pound. So we can label each container. We put that fixed quantity in the middle there. Now, in this problem, across the top, we want to place down our amounts. So I know that I want 50 pounds of the uh, blend of coffee in the mixture. And that way it will sell for $8 per pound. What we don't know is how many pounds of the $3 coffee and how many pounds of the $10. So what I've done here is I've labeled them as C and E. C for cheap and E for expensive. Okay. So immediately upon doing that, we have an equation. We have one of our two equations for the system. C plus E has to be equal to 50. To get the second equation, we really use this relationship this underlying relationship that cost is equal to cost per pound times the number of pounds. So in other words if we take each of our things across the top, the number of pounds times the cost per pound, uh, we'll get an expression for the total cost. For the total cost. And so we do that. C times 3, E times 10, and 50 times 8. So we get 3C, 10E, and 50 times 8. That leads us to our second equation for our uh, mixture problem here. 3C plus 10 e equals 400. Okay, and this is very common uh, that you can do this multiplying down. Uh, here we're dealing with coffee. Uh, this same idea works when you're dealing with uh, mixing solutions that have a certain percent concentration. Uh, this idea that you can do this multiplying down because your percent concentration is the fixed amount in each problem and then you can take your volume times your concentration to get the amount of whatever it is that you're mixing. Uh, and so that would give you your second equation as well. Uh, once we have our uh, system of equations, it's fairly straightforward now. Uh, and I encourage you again on your own to try and solve the system. Um, I'm going to choose to solve by substitution, so I take and solve the top equation for C, get C equals 50 minus E, and then substitute that into the other equation, you get 3 times 50 minus E plus 10 equals 400, and then proceed to solve that equation. I get 150 uh, minus 3E plus 10E equals, set, equals 400. Uh, combine like terms, I get 150 plus 70 is equal to 400. So I subtract the 150 from both sides, divide by 7. And when I do that, when I divide by 7 there, 
I get E equals 35.7 here I need to round off and typically these problems will tell you exactly what to round to here I'm just going to round to the nearest tenth and get 35.7 once I know uh, the that I need 35.7 pounds of the expensive stuff uh, I can then plug that back into my equation C equals 50 minus E and get that I need 16.3 pounds of the cheaper coffee and this kind of makes sense if you think about it uh, the eight dollars that we're trying to get is a lot closer to the ten so we should be using a lot more of the ten uh, than we would be of the three because if we used a lot more of the three then that would actually put the cost closer to the uh, three dollar variety okay so that's our idea uh, that's the uh, kind of idea behind the relationship there um, until uh, next time hopefully this will help you out as you're solving these mixture problems again they mostly follow this same format there's not the, unlike the distance problems there are a lot more uh, you know kind of standard